All of us want a better life, a life that gives us a chance to do something for ourselves and for our family, for our country and our world. Only a few years ago, I also held dreams that you held today, you hold today. The story is indeed the same. It's only the era that has changed. I've always seen life as a two-way journey of teaching and learning from one another. All of us, without exception, need someone who inspires us to do better than we already know. Along the way, on the various paths that lead ultimately to our calling, there will be hurdles that we need to overcome, but we must press on. We would have to learn how to overcome life's challenges, and there is no surer way out of it than making use of your learning and experiences of those who have come ahead of us on the path. Today's theme is apt. All of us have stories to tell about growing up and the life we have known. Some of us may have very peculiar stories, owing perhaps to some special circumstances under which we grew up. But the Ghanaian story is generally the same. Yet the outcomes have been different and will continue to be. Two people grew up in the same circumstance, with the same training, even in the same house. But while one goes on to become a successful entrepreneur, lawyer, doctor, architect, president, even vice president, <laughs> the other may be languishing in jail, serving life, or sitting idle at home with no sense of purpose. It is a matter of choice. The path we choose must the path we choose must emulate the forebears who have successfully defined their roles in society. Yesterday, or at least a long time yesterday, it was Albert Einstein working day and night to explain for all our benefit how the universe works. After him, it is our own Professor Francis Alote, the Ghanaian professor of mathematics and known in the world, the world over for his Alote formalism, which has impacted the role of soft x-ray spectroscopy. It must be a story of hope and success, my dear friends, one worthy of carrying an entire generation tirelessly on its wings. It must be a story that little children in the smallest villages of our country will look to and hope to become characters in. It must be a story that adults with the biggest of accomplishments will see and smile at. It must be a story that people from all walks of life in every part of the world would see and keep. Ladies, we are in a lucky era. Ours is aloft with the benefits of technology and globalization. Today, thanks to an ever-growing internet age, what happens in Tokyo can be seen live in Elubo, without effort. We see for ourselves how the leaders of the world are shaping it to make it better for all of us. But we must not just be sightseers alone, as our president says. We shouldn't be spectators, we should be citizens. We must take active lessons from what we see happening all around us, and we might strive to achieve even more.